About to start a new mural down at Pike Place Market. You guys remember that six story tall vinyl mural thing I did? Those people asked me to come back and paint a mural on the outside of their apartments now to the public on the street. Gonna be awesome. It's sort of a tribute mural for Bird Luger, a stand up comedian who passed away recently. So it's gonna be great to sort of honor his memory, his comedy, his legacy, and paint a mural to celebrate the life of someone who is a, a beautiful soul. So gonna do that. But yeah. Got to get some supplies first, got to get some bucket paint, some concept art printed out, some transparencies, so I'm running around today. And hopefully this weather stays sunny like this so it won't be too crazy cold and rainy and wet out here in this Seattle winter. So I'm going to do that. Look at this, the guys over at, at Shade Tree Sunglasses sent me some sunglasses. This is really exciting. Oh, Ooh, sick. That's <laughs> nice. I can totally like use this for like my paint brushes. Yeah. So traveling. here's the Sunnies. They actually put my prescription in it too, which is pretty it's rad. because nice you're I'm blind like, as a box. Super blind. They're using a uh, sustainable wood. Yeah, the sides of them, if you can see, it's kind of a weird lighting right now. Like the sun super sick. It's like wood. They seem like they're really light. Are they, Thank you, they Shade light? Tree. Let's try them on. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. What do you oh, think? Oh, cute. Those look good. I love the tinting on them. Yeah, it. I can see when you turn, like the tint, and it can looks nice. Like right there. Ah, it's like, you oh. stabbed my eye. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Shade Tree. These are rad. Cute. Cute. I'll be rocking these for the mural. <laughs> if you guys want to check out any of what Shade Tree has going on, they're using like sustainable wood, awesome, sweet sunglasses. There'll be a link down in the description. They sent me these. That's cool. Go check them out. They look nice. Yeah. All right, I got my concept art printed out. There's a, there's a sneak peek. You get to see that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Lowe's to get some bucket paint. So we'll do that now. Lowe's, okay. here we come. Bye, Lowe's. Or, bye. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh yeah. What do you think, waifu? <laughs> what was this thing? Something important. Paint. Okay, where are our colors? So I think we want muted ebony, almost charcoal, passion pink. I think we're good? I think we're good. Colors. Cool, so we got the paint and uh, yeah, start the mural tomorrow. I think I have everything I need. Just gonna go over my mural supplies checklist. All right, so there's the wall, looking good. So I'm gonna come back this evening when the sun goes down and try to use my projector. You gotta wait for the sun to go down so I can actually like see see the projector lines. But yeah, got my ladder, got the keys to the joint. I'm gonna just see you guys this evening. Use that thing. Mural time. Careful, I don't know about this. Oh yikes, I don't know about this. Is it working? Somebody left me a little gift here. Thank you very much, Seattle. distance from the wall, so I'm like stitching together these four panels. It's going a little tough right now. It's not the easiest. I'm trying to line all this stuff up. Trying to fix this face. All right, so we got the rough sketch up. This is tough because I had I can't get any distance from the wall <laughs> and uh, I had to split my concept art up into quarters to make it big enough to project from this short distance. I know you guys are gonna tell me to get a short throw projector in the comments, but they're expensive. So yeah, super duper rough, just quick project, get the, get the art up there in some form. But tomorrow I'll hit it up. I gotta also kind of watch my back in this shady alley. So hopefully this piece will be dope and and this is. Don't worry, I'll be here. <laughs> I got my bodyguard, so it's all good. Hey guys. Okay, today is day two on our mural down here at Pike Place. Last night we got the rough sketch up. It was a little hard. So today we're gonna try to get this thing on this. What? We're gonna try to do this. <laughs> I don't know what to say. So it's gonna be a little busy today because it's Sunday and it's a very nice day in Seattle. And we're down here at Pike Place, so hopefully it doesn't get too crazy. But maybe we'll have some people that come say hi, which is cool. So I don't know, welcome to day two. Let's do this. No? Okay, peace.
So Kevin Barnett, aka Bird Luger, is an actor, writer, stand-up comedian. He also co-created the Fox sitcom Rel. Previously, he starred in True TV sketch comedy show Friends of the People, where he served as executive producer, head writer, cast member. He was a series regular on MTV 2s Guy Code and a writer on the Eric Andre Show on Adult Swim and Lucas Brothers Moving Company on Fox. He appeared on Adam Devine's House Party on Comedy Central, Funny as Hell on HBO and Top 5, written and directed by Chris Rock. Kevin also appeared in the independent film How to Follow Strangers. I've been open at pain. Passion. Kevin co-hosted one of the best podcasts in New York, The Round Table of Gentlemen, and he was also one of the main writers on Broad City. The guy did a lot, and he was a brilliant person, super funny, and uh, he will be missed. On January 22nd, 2019, Kevin Barnett died in Tijuana, Mexico due to complications caused by pancreatitis. He was 32 years old. The owner of this building, Tyler, asked me to make this mural to celebrate Kevin and to create a memorial for this amazing person, this friend, and I'm so honored to have my art be a part of celebrating the life of someone truly talented and special and just a tremendous human being. When Tyler reached out to me about this project, I just kind of started doing a bunch of research into Kevin and his comedy and his podcasts, and I definitely encourage you all to go check some of that stuff out because he was just a really hilarious person and just full of life. And This project was a really interesting and really unique experience for me because I've never used my art to celebrate someone that was so close to the, the client who was hiring me, and I felt a lot of... I felt like it was important to try and do the best job that I could do on this. First day of painting and made some progress. Been painting for about seven or eight hours. And uh, yeah, I'm really, really cold. Me and wife here are both super cold. So we're gonna kind of pack it up for the day. And uh, it's been a wild painting down here. So many people walking by, taking photos, saying what's up. Met a few people who subscribed to my YouTube channel. That's always a really fun moment for me. The struggle is real right now, trying to get this thing looking good, but Hopefully by the end of it all, it'll look pretty dope, so. Georgie, what are you doing? You going to school today? Say hi. Oh, that's sweet. So we're heading down to the mural spot and I'm just kind of feeling like some anxiety. You know, like if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I do like characters and kind of cartoony stuff and I'm not really like a portrait artist and I'm just feeling like so much pressure to get this portrait right and it's just like it's tough you know it's like on this brick wall and a lot of my expertise and my practice is not with this type of art so I'm just feeling feeling pressure and anxiety and stress about getting this thing right and like honoring Kevin and doing the best job I can but I guess like the only way to get past that stuff is to just keep working it and I'm like I'm feeling anxious about today but I'm also just like really excited for today to to just make it better because <laughs> I left last night feeling like it looked really not good so so I just got to keep working it and get it to the point where it makes me happy and hopefully it makes other people happy and they can enjoy it so just kind of stressed. <laughs> this is one of the more difficult murals I've ever done, but it's the tough ones that make you grow, so yeah, just gonna get to it, I guess. Hi guys. Yeah. How are you? Good, how are you? Pretty good. You guys, um, do you know what's happening here today and about an hour? Or yeah. less? I'm talking to him about it now. I'm gonna fill him in right now. Okay, so what happens here is because there's two projects, we're doing this project, and the, they're building the skyscraper next door. Okay. So we have a city coordination permitted thing that we do here, so they get the okay. alley. Okay. Um, we have to, we can't be here in the alley. Oh wow, because, we're hired to work here. I know, but you to... can't have cars in it because the yeah. this building, not, yeah. not this one, but that one, yeah. the bigger one, all their cars have to come in out here, uh -huh. and in less than one hour, we get the alley. That's this building. Okay. So it's going to be closing in the center, and we're bringing a big, huge dumpster in here okay. that would totally trash your painting, probably with all the dust starts. Only if it's wet. <laughs> it is. If it's dry, you're good. 
So they're closing off the alleyway and they're gonna put a dumpster right here and be dropping a bunch of rubble down this chute. So they're telling us it's gonna be super dusty in this alleyway. So we'll see if we can keep painting today. But for now, I'm just gonna try to paint as much and as fast as possible to try and uh, just like outrun the dust storm. <laughs> I felt bad, I got a little sassy. <laughs> Chelsea gets sassy, I just get I, quiet. No, I, to I, I told him I was sorry. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> So yeah, we're just gonna try and uh, roll with the punches and figure this out. That's what happens when you paint in this alleyway City downtown. Alleyway. So once that they loaded in that garbage can, we got pretty lucky and the wind was in our favor and a lot of that dust was blowing out the other end of the alley. Uh, it actually was kind of helpful because they blocked off the alley, which they put these like poles up and it kind of provided like <laughs> built-in security for us so less people could kind of mess with us and bother us and we could get some good work done. So, you know, the universe was smiling down upon us and everything worked out okay. pick up Georgie from his training classes. I'm turning him into a fine young gentleman. So cold, my lips are so chapped. Mine too. I look like I put on lipstick and I'm not good at it. Uh, yeah, so made some progress, feeling a lot better about it. And uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll be either done or close to done. People seem to like it so far. The community is responding well to it. Shout out to Cupcake Royale for letting us like use the bathroom. <laughs> Power, charge our batteries. Shout out to the construction workers who are being super nice. Yep. Even though they have full rights to the alley. I know, they were super sweet. So it's the last day of the mural. Well, we're hoping, finishing up. Just gonna kind of get started today out here in downtown Seattle. The first in Pine Apartments, right next to Pike Place Market. Made a lot of good progress yesterday. Definitely feeling better about the mural. And I texted a picture of it to the client. He's super hyped. So yeah, we're just gonna be chugging along. It's super freezing. There's tons of like drywall debris being dumped in the alleyway. So there's like crazy drywall dust everywhere. Definitely interesting working conditions. Just gonna try and uh, keep painting, stay warm and uh, make some cool art and hopefully honor Kevin and just make something cool for the community as well. So time to get painting. Yeah, I'm cold already, so <laughs> just gotta get moving around. We got some cheese. Cheese. Big old vat of cheese in there. Pike Place is nice in the winter when it's not so. Look at that. 
quite upset if it's like a sign of like money. Look at all these flowers. Hello fish. Got some fish, got some cheese, certified fresh, all local. Beautiful. How about if I just Give me you are nasty paint. We obviously don't care about dreams. See what I mean? This place is sick. Look at all that amazing fresh produce. They're pretty cheap. Yeah, cheaper than the grocery store. Weenies. Man, that barbecue smells good. Big brass pig. Can you ride it? Are you allowed to? Get along, little doggy. There's tons of art on this wall. And then down this spooky alley. Real nasty. This is the gum wall, but they recently cleaned it. This is just all the new gum. All that's gum. It smells minty. Cherry cheese. <laughs> I'm surprised. I painted two murals January and then uh, what is it March? Yeah. It's usually so nasty, so cold. I know, so rainy. rainy. But it's been like, even though it's been cold, it's been sunny. Pike Place is there. My mural is there. Well, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was an amazing project. It was so special to be able to honor someone as beautiful and creative as Kevin, AKA Bird Luger. Thank you so much to First and Pine Apartments for having me do this. Sorry about all the construction noise in the background. I think this one turned out cool and it was a really special one. A little bit different from a normal mural that I might do, but I think it turned out rad. So far, the community has been just loving it. I've had hundreds and hundreds of conversations about the art, about Bird, about his legacy, about how much he loves Seattle. I am I just feel honored. If you guys like this video, leave a like. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want more art videos. And you can even ring the bell if you want to know exactly when the next video is coming out. If you want to support me, check out my Patreon. There's all kinds of cool Cool, fun stuff going on over there on Patreon. Monthly podcasts, Q&A sessions, behind the scenes stuff, art prompts. We do a bunch of fun stuff over on Patreon, so check that out if you want to get some extra bonus content and also support me. Thanks Shade Tree for sending me these sunglasses. That was super rad of you. There's a link down in the description if you guys want to check any of that stuff out. Yeah. Check out my website, I got a bunch of cool hoodies and, and t-shirts and hats and all kinds of fun art merchandise with my art on it that I designed and I made and I sell. And if you guys want to catch any of that, you can check it out at 1000art.com. Thank you so much for watching. It's so nice out today. Why is it always the last day that's so nice? <laughs> I guess that helps me like get through the last little bit. Yeah, that's it. Rest in peace, Bird Luger. Thank you. Thanks, y'all.